make some crafts with all my friends. It is time to make some crafts with all my friends. It is time to make some crafts, make some puppets, have some laughs. It is time to make some crafts with all my friends. Hey friends, my name is Miss Maddie. You can also refer to me as your art chef for today and welcome to my kitchen. Let me show you around a little bit before we get started. My refrigerator, featuring special people I love, cards, and fun memories. My kitty cat kitchen towel. My Rabotoki collection, the doctor, the dancer, the princess, fairy, and the gnome. Stuff like this. I painted this for the tomato art festival. They're zombies, but they're tomatoes. This was in a calendar. I thought it was exquisite. I couldn't bear to part with it. We got some fruit and some potatoes. <gasps> this one's alive! Ah! My cat, say hi. Oh, okay. My hamburger piggy bank and matching hamburger, hot dog, salt and pepper shakers. All right, enough funny business. You guys get the idea. Let's make some puppets. ready to make some puppets today. We're gonna have some fun. I'm gonna show you three different puppets that I invented pretty much just using my hands. I found some random craft supplies around my house and I used them to kind of enhance the puppet, but really I'm mostly just using my hands for all of these. So I hope it inspires you guys. You can create your own puppets with whatever you have at your house. Have you guys ever heard of STEM or STEAM before? Science, technology, engineering, art, and math. We are actually using a STEM or STEAM model for puppet building today. Let me show you guys the visual graphic. So looking at the visual that I'm sharing with you guys, if you look at our little chart here, the first step is ask. So we want to make some puppets and I want to ask, what can we make with something that we already have at home? Something that's really, really simple. So for the jellyfish, I thought, well, most people live with grown-ups or are grown-ups. Most grown-ups drink coffee and most people who drink coffee have coffee filters. So I had to ask, what can we do with what we have at home? And I answered, coffee. The next step is imagine. So I was looking at the coffee filter, trying to imagine what could this be? And it kind of already looks like a jellyfish to me. So I imagined maybe there's a way we can make a jellyfish with the coffee filters. The next step is plan. And I've already done the planning for you on these puppets today. So I will share with you guys the craft supplies you need and you can make your plan so you can get your supplies ready to go. Create. Maybe the most fun part for me is creating it. So then we're gonna try to make it ourselves. We're gonna create it. After create, we have test. We're gonna see if it works. And if it doesn't work, how can we make it work? Then we have improve. So you guys might have some even better ideas for your puppets than I could think of. If you can find a way to improve your puppets, you should do it. And our last step is share. So I hope after you finish your puppets today, you'll take some pictures and share it with us. All right, let's get started. All right, friends, the first puppet we're gonna make today is a jellyfish. So what we need for our jellyfish is 
You ever seen one of your grown-ups use this? Coffee filter, one marker, or you can use more markers if you want, but I'm just gonna do one. Some yarn, and a paper clip. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our coffee filter, and we're just gonna add a little bit of color. And I'm not gonna worry about coloring the whole thing. I'm just gonna kind of doodle around. And if you wanna use more than one marker, you can kind of make a tie-dye effect. So let's decorate our coffee filter first. Next, I'm gonna take my paper clip and I'm just gonna unbend it and try to make it kind of just a straight line. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now I'm gonna take my coffee filter and my paper clip and notice how thin this is. I'm just gonna poke straight through it with my paper clip and then I'm gonna kind of twist it closed. I'm almost making kind of a loop. Kind of like this. And it looks a little bit like an umbrella. Should have some nice bounce to it. I'm gonna take the yarn that I cut and one by one, I'm gonna tie the yarn to the inside of my little umbrella here. Here's our jellyfish. Alrighty, for our next puppet, we are going to need piece of foam or you could use a piece of paper. Those old marshmallows in the back of your fridge or freezer. And a hot glue gun with parental guidance if necessary. Really kitty. She's trying to get internet famous. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take our piece of foam and we're gonna cut it so it kind of looks like a mouth. So how I did that was, I took my piece, I folded it in half, and then I cut almost like a half of an oval shape. So when I pulled it out, voila. The next thing we're gonna do is take our marshmallows and we're gonna use them as teeth. And we're just gonna line the inside of our mouth with our teeth. Okay, and once we have all our marshmallows glued in, see how I left a little space here where I'm gonna bend it? And <laughs> there's our mouth. Hello. All right, this next one is really silly. Do you guys remember being in school and making those turkeys with your hand where you trace your hand and then your fingers are the feathers and your thumb is the head. Well, we are gonna make a turkey puppet that's actually our hand, like our actual hand will be the turkey, a true hand turkey, if you will. So for this, we're gonna need some paints. 
Now finger paints would be the best for this, but I don't have that. So if you use a different kind of paint, you might just want to test a little bit on your skin to make sure it doesn't hurt. A paintbrush. And an eye. And now for the eye, I'm going to kind of stick it between my thumb and my finger. Gobble, 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 gobble. Alright guys, I hope you had fun today. I hope you take pictures of the puppets that you make so we can see them. And until next time, I guess I'll play us out. It was fun to make some crafts with all my friends. It was fun to make some crafts with all my friends. It was fun to make some crafts. We made some puppets, had some laughs. It was fun to make some crafts with all my friends. Bye, friends.